Hi, my name is Chris Grad. I'm a technical director and graphic designer at KE2TV, the ABC affiliate in Portland, Oregon. And I'm here to show off a couple of cool things with the master control product from Young Monkey. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you an execution of a few simple newscast elements. Even the most simple of newscasts tends to have some really complicated elements. And some of the first ones out of the gate are my pre-show and my open. So first I'm going to show you how easy it is to do with master control, and then I'll show you how to do the same thing manually, which will be, hopefully I won't mess it up. So here we go. So I've got this down to two buttons. The first thing in the show is a pre-show, which is basically a tape with music, a specific music clip at a certain level, and it's all pre-programmed in my master control, so all I have to do is hit my pre-show button, and it will execute the entire thing automatically. So here we go. Hitting pre-show. It automatically took the tape to air. It's rolling with music. The music is at a particular level. And once this uh, tape finishes up, I'm going to go straight to my news open, which I've got another button for on my master control, which is news open. So as soon as my uh, voiceover finishes here, we'll hit the news open button and move on to the next element. K2 wants to know why it hasn't been fixed for five years now. Thieves target a local neighborhood. I mean, who steals a little girl's bike? Victims so describe coming up to the last the element here. Are more frustrating this time of year. Here we go. News open. So it automatically transitioned to my news open. All I need to do is put underneath my camera that I'm revealing. And it revealed on camera. It's automatically going to mix down my audio levels and bring it down so that my music comes out. And I'm ready to go continue with my show. I can put in my news bug down there and then continue switching my show, switching cameras and then moving on. So let me show you how I would have to do that if I was going to do this manually. So first let me re-cue my tapes. I'm going to go back to black, take out my bug, and then cue up my two tapes. I'm going to go in and now I'm going to have to go ahead and set up my audio stuff that I would have that's automatically being controlled by the master control. So I'm going to bring my audio down to minus 20. For my sounds, I'm going to pick my correct uh, music clip for this. Let's do number one. So all my tapes are cued. So to do this, now I'm ready to go. I need to put DDR1 there because I need to roll sounds manually. I need to hit sounds here, so I'll be able to roll that sound clip. So now I'm ready to start the pre-show. So I've got a fade selected. That's what we want. That's already selected normally in the master control. So here we go. There's that. I need to roll my music. And I did mess it up. What did I do? Oh, I killed my audio, so there we go. Now that's up. I did manage to mess it up. Next thing will be with the news open, which I need to set up quickly. So I need to go to downstream key 1, put DDR2 in downstream key 1, camera 2 on preview, make sure the audio for DDR2 is up. Audio is up. DDR2 has that thing queued, so I'm ready to run the open out of downstream key 1. Just barely in time, run that. Stop the music. Live in HD, two underneath. this is K2 News at 6 on your side. So in this scenario, I can't, I'd have to go in here now, go to the internal audio tab and start bringing that down to fade it out. And I need to take that downstream key out. Now I can go to downstream key 1 and put titles back there so I can key my fonts and put in the bug and their names. So there you go. That's, you know, a lot harder than it is to just hit one button. So let's move on to something else that's a little more complicated than news has something like a tease. So in a tease, it's sort of the reverse of this. I've got to set up a couple of different things. So I'm going to go to, let's say we're in the middle of a newscast here. So we're up on this, uh, in this double box effect here because we just did a, did a remote with, um, with, this, uh, with this reporter. So let's do, let's come out of this double box and, this, and we'll do a tease, which again is similar to that where I've got to have to roll a bunch of tapes and select some effects all at the same time. So first we'll again do it with the master control and so I'll come out to camera two because that's my you know reveal the anchors are talking they're gonna start doing a tease so all I have to do is hit my tease button it kicks up the music and sets me up to go to my uh, to my tease with the correct banner and the bug will come out when I go to this tease so let's go to my first tape in the tease dissolve. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to wipe to my next element, my tease. So we're going to just hit the tease white really button realized, uh, when we want to go to the next tape. When we got in there. Well, I'd never seen that many dogs in one place. And it's got the, t yeah. the tease wipe loaded, and now I just hit auto trans. And auto trans again. Go my last thing, and then we'll go to black to go to break. So to do that, normally I would have had to reach up to either click on the right transition, or I would have had to go in here and select it with the panel here by using the selector and picking the right effect. Now let's do that again, the whole situation manually. So I'm going to come back out where we'll be on this double box. 
going to kill that audio, get rid of that font. So we'll come in here and do the T's again manually. So we were on camera two, like that. All right, so we're going to come out to camera two, and we're going to do our T's. Let's see if we had our bug in as well. Let's put that in. All right, so we're going to come out to camera two and then do the T's. But to get set up for that, I need to have to pick my audio here. I need to pick the right sound clip for the T's. Let's do 26. And then we need to set our levels for the T's music and make sure everything else is set up. We want to fade because our elements between the first element going from camera to the first tape is going to be a dissolve. So that needs to be set up and make sure that that's there. So first, we'll come out to camera two. And now I have to go in to my sounds player and play the music preview the right tapes, set up my downstream keys, dissolve. Well, now I need to like, come up here and pick the really right wipe anymore, effect. So now I can go to downstream or DDR2 um, and take that out. Auto trans to the next tape. Auto trans to the next tape. Fire and I can go to black for my break. Air. So it's much easier to handle all that stuff with the master control. The other cool stuff that I've set up on the master control is I can go in here and I already have tab selectors to show the audio tabs, which you know can be a little difficult to see without grabbing the mouse. I also have the uh, stills players, sounds players, those can all pop up here. I also have previous and next individually here, although they are on the surface, I also have the ability to directly select them without seeing the tab. I can go ahead and pound through different titles and graphics just by clicking a button. A couple other safety features that I put in for myself is I have an open all mics and kill all mics so that I can kill the audio from any external sources. I also have a couple of presets here for news packages. So if I'm on camera and I want to and I want to go, let's say, to a package and I want to adjust the, all the audio, I want to kill all the mics and I want to go to the package with sound only, I can push up one button and take the package and it kills the, the anchor mics and goes to the package close. full. Road I also have another one for the Tiny other DDR. Bit. It'll take DDR2 full and you also have it with VO levels so it'll drop the audio levels but it won't kill the mics. Uh, it'll just drop the audio levels down to a VO level on the tapes. Additionally, I have a couple of other cool things that are really difficult to do with a standard, you know, just off the fly. One thing I can do is I can have it pick up a tape automatically. So let's say I'm in the middle of my news and I need to do breaking news. I can just click the breaking news button and it automatically selects my breaking news animation. So if I'm on camera and I want to go, I want to bring, you know, bring, let's say I want to go to my reporter here on input five, say he's got some breaking news for us. Once I've clicked this breaking news animation, the breaking news animation automatically queued, and then I just have to hit the stinger button to run the animation, and it will reveal my reporter. Just like that. And then he can do his breaking news. So that's just a few of the cool things you can do with Master Control. It's an amazing add-on for a TriCaster, and it lets you do all kinds of production values that you'd never be able to do alone. So I you know, highly recommend it, and get out there and pick one up.